Well, I've got to tell you, I love having an exotic <laughs> fruit in my garden like dragon fruit. It's really special. The first time I discovered um, dragon fruit was when I was nine and it was the first time uh, my mother and I went back to Vietnam. My first time for my mum since she escaped wow. after the war. So, um, and we were walking through the markets and she said, you know, what fruit would you like to eat for the afternoon? And I just found the dragon fruit and I just said, it's just so pretty and unusual yeah. um, and unique and it's brought back really fond memories. So thank you for that, Trev. And I'm so excited that you've got it in your garden. Yeah, <laughs> it used to be that mangoes were my favourite yeah. fruit, but this red dragon fruit, it's fantastic. Well, I have two of your favourites here today because obviously we've got, we're doing a dragon fruit smoothie bowl. Obviously mm -hmm. smoothies are very popular to kickstart the day, yeah. but um, I think if you want something with a bit more oomph, a bit of a bowl is quite good. So yeah. I've got dragon fruit as well as mango, which you love, and some banana. Fantastic. Um, and we've frozen these overnight and just cube them up. And they're frozen because you basically want to keep it nice and cold. Yeah, yeah. cold and also um, to have that thickness as well for a bowl. The so, texture, yeah, yeah. the texture of it. So okay. And a little bit of... A little bit of coconut milk. Coconut is so good for you, so healthy. The, the really difficult bit, you just got to <laughs> basically blend it. Is that, blend it, is that's that it. it. Blend it for a bit and see how you go. And it's been slowly breaking that up, just yes. like ice cubes would be into yeah. chunks, basically smaller chunks. You know when you have like those sort of like ice crushy kind of, yeah. you know, things? Yeah, yeah, it's similar to that. Oh, it's looking pretty good. So a I'm smoothie like slushy. This is um, pretty much good to go. You can oh, see like it's wow. nice and thick. That is insane. <laughs> Look at the colour. I know. It's like a blender of health. <laughs> yeah. I'll take so, that off for you. Thank you. Right. So before we serve it, I'll just slice up some fruit as a, as a topping. Yep. So um, we can do a bit of banana. And a bit of dragon fruit as well. Beautiful. Okay. I love that, yeah. I'll do some mango. Some mango as well. Chunks, I think. <laughs> I know. Just, I love it. We need to just serve this up. Okay. <laughs> Shall we? Look. So this is a colourful way to start the day, you know? Yep. And so... that rule that I told you about the colour is good for you. That's right. The more you've got, <laughs> the better you are. Here we go. So we just place, you know, this is this is just for topping. Yeah. You can do it any way you like, even with the kids, you know, let them, let them have a bit of fun with decorating. My hands are a bit pink, you can see that. But we can put whatever topping you like. Okay. So we've got some um, almonds here, a bit of granola. I feel Great. like I've made no contribution at all, <laughs> no, except for the plants. But this is look brilliant. at that. Shall we? Um... Perfect. Thank okay. you. All right, give it a go. Mmm. <laughs> and it's got the crunch. But you wouldn't have to have this just as breakfast. You could have this as a dessert as well. That's right, it almost looks like a sorbet. What a healthy alternative <laughs> to say ice cream. That's it.